See you got the master with the orange hat. <laughs> hey! Hi. How are you? Yeah, how is it? Flow, okay? Flow, okay? Hey! 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 ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
<laughs> you can eat done the weight of the pigs. Yeah, okay. Are you going to peel me one? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at this juicy. Yeah, I'm going to pick this one right back here that's splitting. Mm. Uh. Mm -mm. Wow, this is so juicy. Mm. Ben, you just want to cruise up, we're going to go right in back here. Absolutely. Filming it for Drake. Mm, so good. <laughs> He'll cut and edit at the end of all this. So. Mm. Oh God, this is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so you. Tangerine how go? Grapefruit. Mm. Right over to that gate. So from up here you can tell whether it's day to go out surfing or not, huh? Yeah. Well, the pigs don't appreciate the view, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah come on. I just have to close this because the cows will. You gonna pay? Chunk soup? <laughs> Translation. Huh? But that papaya has a... Malnourished. Malnourished, yeah. Drake likes to eat cassava. Yeah, yeah. he loves cassava. This, this pig is named uh, Isel. I need to She was born uh, the night of the hurricane. Oh. I had two big pigs, but I had to let them go because I couldn't feed them while I was on vacation. Oh. Didn't have yeah. enough food. Mm. Yeah, she's ready for the half baby. She's big enough. Oh, I just, oh. but I don't have a bore, so I have to AI. So I, insemination from. Uh, you know, actually, where you, where uh, Master Cho gave the seminar, mm. the guy who's in charge of that, mm. they do AI there, uh, oh, yeah. or they you can buy semen. At, uh, okay. The guy's name is Arnold that mm. runs that. Mm. 
facility. Thank you. So Kim, are you not buying any cake food anymore? Oh no, I buy cake food, but I along with that, I eat uh, papaya. I grow papaya, so I eat all that. And then she would and see for picture and kabocha leaves, and then all the hana hana grass, you know. How much uh, did you buy? How much did you buy? Oh, maybe two guys a month. Oh, so you can have one. Okay, so each one gets two. All star, I buy all star. How much did you buy? Oh, that's all you pay? I'm more than you. Oh, no, we know we get papaya. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give about double that amount in all stock to Deji. Yeah. You do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't want to buy any. Yeah, that's the ideal. That's the whole point. Yeah. No kidding. I don't not buy any. Yeah. Well, I got plenty. I mean, I have plenty. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Come here, you. Oh my God. Come here, baby. Bacon. Bacon. Oh, you bacon. Drake, do you ever see them eat their own poop? Uh, no. No. I don't see them eat their own poop, but they do. Easy there, baby bacon. <laughs> She's a little nipper, huh? She's a screamer, too. If you rub her belly, though, she always lays down. Mm. Oh, you have to I do eat them. Sometimes I eat, you know, once in a while. Mm -hmm. uh, I do eat two kicks and three times. Yeah, good solid. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the screen here. Yeah, yeah, no, no. No, that is a new one for me today, though. I didn't realize what that was. Yeah, yeah, it makes it, makes it so wide angle. Yeah, yeah, sweet, yeah. That's the whole point. Because otherwise it's really narrow, but this thing you can see it. Cool. Yeah, when we were traveling over to your school, I bumped it, and I go, hey, what's wrong with the screen now? Oh, like I kind of blurry. Yeah, yeah that's why I didn't put it in. There's a long guy tree when we go by. Okay. Let him go. Is that unique to just that pig, Drake? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, other pigs, if you, you gotta put them way more. She has like a super weak spot. You pet her just, it was just, ugh. Maybe I used it up already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too shy.
other fertilizer. Uh, so, uh, so, but if that's what we need to do, that's what we need to do. That's fine. Grow corn in silage. Yeah. But, you know, I'd love to do the things that we grow easy. Cassava uh, grows easy. Um, Terra grows fairly easy. Root crops. Rick, do you know anybody that's grown the soldier fly successfully? Only like one person. Lots of people try, but it's, it's, it's kind of tricky because you have to farm them too. Mm. It's like, kind of just like be a hobby. I think here we mentioned just regular Yeah. <laughs> well, the whole point of this is to avoid flies. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, those, uh, there's so many varieties of corn in the world, though. I think isn't it just a matter of finding the right variety for here? Which this corn? Yeah, and then and then don't grow it corn, and then just cut it and grow it and then cut. You know. Yeah, don't try to grow it grain, huh? Yeah, that's, I think that's what he's saying more than anything. That's what I've been picking up. Not the corn. Uh, stop the, 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 the yeah. corn. I don't know what it was. No, just the stalk. Yeah, just the they stalk. only let it grow to two feet high. Yeah, you don't want the stalk. You just, you just keep growing it just because like, it has enough energy in the seed to get that tall and you just cut the seed. And then, yeah, I mean, because I, I was understanding what he's saying. He's saying just like real, real grow it and then be, and then cut it before it even stops, slows down, you know? That's, well, that's a different philosophy. どうもありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。あり
So if you just seen papayas, what Ginger John is growing, did you get the papaya seeds from him? Yes, we don't grow it. My dad now has, um, has a factory where he gets the papaya. Yeah, you got If you want to watch hands, can you watch hands? So you're uh, you would do like you have to search on that you're fine. But before but before you were biotechnologist DNA stuff. Interesting. So our papaya is biotechnology, right? We had a virus that um, devastated uh, papaya here in the 1990s. And so most of the uh, at well, least papaya is GMO. Oh, uh, papaya is not one. Yeah, you eat it. Yes. You're not happy? Oh, no one is. Yeah, I didn't know. There's yeah, several I, different I kinds of papaya, that. though. But I heard yeah. it. But mm -hmm. I, I didn't know it. They're all. Uh, well, mostly. The, re the reason someone can grow a papaya that's not GMO is because all of the commercial farmers grow GMO and it takes away the virus pressure with without uh, it it uh -huh. would be impossible to have organic or naturally farmed this kind of trip yeah it's a catch-22 they call yeah. that yeah it's a trap is it that because there's been cross-pollination between the IMO or I mean that the GMO papyrus there's very and little the cross, there's very little cross-pollination people just plant we, they, they just plant seeds typically yeah. from yeah, the from GMO. Whatever eating. Now the fruit, of course, you know, people say if you plant an or you know a non-GMO, and even if there is cross pollination, the fruit isn't GMO. The seeds would be, right? Oh. right? So it affects the next generation. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So if you plant the seeds from that, so people are under a miss in. So with, with the natural that. farming, have you tried, uh, you know, non-GMO? Uh, no, but we're going to. Now, when uh, Master Cho's son comes, mm -hmm. um, we're, I'm bringing together, and I don't know if you'll still be here, but we're no, bringing, no, trying no, to no. bring together the University of Hawaii scientists yeah, heard that, yeah. and the Korean scientists the farmers, the natural farmers, and I want to sponsor and pay for mm -hmm. a field trial mm -hmm. of papaya. And so the idea is to, to sit together in a room to decide how best to conduct a trial mm -hmm. so that it's successful. 
so that the university is satisfied that it's all they have the data they need um, and so we're going to work together to try to find out who needs to be involved and how do we need to do it so that it works and i'm hoping that we at that time do a gmo and a non-gmo natural farming trial side by side let's find out can it be done so you don't have any experiments mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I suggest you have GMO and non-GMO. Yeah, and then you have the uh, conventional and uh, natural farming on uh, both. Yeah, on both. Yeah. And then I suggest uh, Master Cho and his sons natural farming uh, different. Yes. So I suggest you to uh, try both Master Cho's oh. method. And so then conventional his son. Master yeah. Cho and then Young Sun. His, son, his sons. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Young, the reason I was attracted to Young Songs, and I've been to Master Cho's mm -hmm. seminar mm -hmm. a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I went to Korea, um, and we went to the certification. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm familiar with some mm -hmm. of those uh, methods, um, although my son is <laughs> actually good at it. <laughs> yeah. I'm familiar with them. And, um, you know, when I talk with Chris Trump, mm -hmm. who Chris talks Trump. about... Yeah the macadamia he said he's been successful using master cho's methods mm -hmm, right. but that the son's methods may not be successful with fungus and the right. big problem in papaya is fungus, fungus. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what, I, that's what it's, I meant it's the number one problem that's what i mean and it until we can be successful combating fungus naturally we can't do it. Yeah. So that's why I'm suggesting try both yeah. Masters and his sons. Yeah. And that's why I'm telling you, you know, <laughs> I hear you, uh, right? I understand what uh, you're saying. Okay. And I agree with you be okay. because the sons methods it's may good. not be strong enough to yeah. deal with the, the fungus, fungus. Yeah. Th that pressure that we're going to do. Yeah. And well, so, well, so hmm? and then his method is a rather quick and uh, less quick. expensive. Yes, his, his sons, mm -hmm. uh, but the uh, master shows a little bit, you know, takes time, but you know, fundamental. Yes. Yeah. So what's the what's the big, you know, other than applying nutrients? How what what's the the success or what's behind the success of Master Cho's antifungal methods? Antifungal. So. Let uh, fungus uh, fight against bad right. fungus. You know, you know, so what does he use to do that? What, how does he get the good fungus? Time of fall. They have beneficial fungus and yeah. strong fungus. Okay. So they will take care of the bad fungus to kill the plants. So when, when I make, I've made IMO4 here mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. right here with it. But you notice a lot of wood chips. Mm -hmm. It's very soft over there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right? yeah. The fungus is left to uh, cover. Yeah, it does. Wood chips. yeah. It does like that. And as opposed to grass. Um, so when I make IMOs, I can use wood chips right in that in making of it. So here is, it's been stored a while, but this is a batch of IMOs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. well, wow, that's great. Oh, a year and a half yeah, old. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's old now. Yeah, sure. Is it, but I put a little bit of this every time I make pig food. Take a little bit, and I put it so they eat the eat the fungus yeah. every day. Yeah, F fungus and my uh, uh, bacteria. Y yeah, yeah. But I I'm, I'll make another pile here, and I'll make a oh, we'll use maybe two hundred pounds of uh, mill run, mm -hmm. and I'll make a big pile mm -hmm. of, of IMO four here. Mm -hmm. So this is IMO four. Yes, we do uh, soil. Yes, which uh, soil are you using? The just right here, mm -hmm. okay. right. Why do you, why don't you just make it, uh, make it and then just give it right away instead of storing? Because uh, then I have to make it all the time. Oh, this is for feeding. Just mm -hmm. this is just for feeding. Now, mm -hmm. I think if I do something in a cr in a crop situation, I'm going to have to do things much differently. Yeah. This is just I, I just show you an animal. example. I understand, but if you have animal for here. They will eat from the soil. The floor. Oh, is they have IMO4 already. Yeah, so we don't, we don't have to keep both. Oh. If you have IMO4 here, they will eat. 
So I give an additional. Time. So when I make the food, I, I take a little bit and I put it. I, I like to put it in the food when right. I ferment it. Uh, well, I, I don't know. They, they're, they're, they don't they're, need it. They are making automatically in the soil. Yes. So you don't have to uh, do additional. Okay. okay. No need. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cause no, because they better. eat that. They eat that every yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's better IMO4 than this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. This, uh, uh, this is actually one. and living IMO4, and this is kind of. Uh, Dormant. Dormant sleeping. Oh, that's what. Good. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So when I, so when we make IMO four mm -hmm. for papaya fields, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's going to be reasonably expensive and expensive. It is. Because we've got to buy all that. Uh, oh, milk. 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 Oh. We got to leave on the couch. Ah, friend, friend, friend. I think, friend. I think there are some other ways to make. But is the application going to be liquid? Yeah, I am all for. Try, try to find, you know, some alternative. Okay. Well, we're. I mean, alternative. Master Cho's yeah. been here. This is his third or fourth time, mm -hmm. and every time we keep going. Okay, what do we have here that we don't have to import? Show, you know. Mm -hmm. And we have some suggestions, but so far we've tried uh, cane, sugar cane. Uh, cassava. We've tried, cause we've tried a number of things. I think he mentioned and, the and, and, I'm a, and it's, it down, no? We just haven't. Has anyone done it? I mean, yeah. right? Every, people have tried, and pe yeah, good no, people no, have tried. That's just mentioned in the class, in the seminar this time. Which one? The, for the alternative. Yeah, there was an alternative, but then you have to grind that it's up into available. the small chips. You have to we, we have to uh, go through the process. Eric, I was curious when you're applying IMO four to the to the um, your fields out there. Yeah, put in some calcium and magnesium because these soils are needed. You mm -hmm. got to change the pH, and then I'll add probably some um, a little bit of. Biochar. Okay, yeah. Just give the IMOs a place to live, yeah. And then I'll apply a thin layer of IMO 4. Okay. I'll cover it with e with wood chips typically. Uh -huh. Keep the sunlight off the IMO. Water it in. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that, but you know, and then I that then after that I just apply nutrients to the plants and I don't worry about the soil after that. So I don't know, how, you know, that's what I'm doing. It's uh, probably not enough. I, I think a, a weekly application of a, of a liquid IMO4 in the sense, or an IMO, maybe like uh, the uh, young son's going to do. Uh huh. Maybe makes sense. Well, I was wondering if the liquid IMO applied right to the problem, uh, you know, the, uh, the fungal problem right on the soil fruit, and the plants. Right on the fruit is, isn't a way of correcting well, our. That problem. Well, and, that, and when we put the people in the room, right, that's one of the issues, right? Yeah. Is so, how do we know it's working or not working? Do we need someone here to monitor? How do we monitor? How do we make sure we're doing the right thing? How do we know? Because I don't want to wake up four months into the deal and go, oh, well, you should have done this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. It's like, okay, let's put the people in the room so we know we're doing it right. And, and yeah. people. I mean, if they're doing it in Korea, well, why can't we do it here and just do it instead uh -huh. of talk about doing it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, that's what I want to do. I want to prove that it can be done. Let's put the do the analysis, put the prescription wrong gate, together. Guys, wrong gate. Other way, guys. Guys. Woo, woo. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> you're, you're in a fence there, and you won't get out of there. Oh, we are not. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> here you go. Much better. Yeah. Much better. <laughs> All right, thank you. So, so, so my I mean, that's the that's the deal, yeah. right? I I don't know how. And and I I I I I'm thinking just like what you've said, right? There's two ways. There's there's more sophisticated ways to do it. You've obviously got to put good fungus out there to. It, it, the whole theory is you put so many good guys that the bad guys can't compete. They get out competing. How do we do that? 
What methodology do we use? That's what I'm hoping to determine. Without it becoming, it, while it's still cost effective too, you know. And well, even you know, if I could grow, you know, organic or naturally farmed papaya, so I have access to markets nobody else has access, or they do, but but I'm already set up for it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I could easily market it if we could be successful, uh -huh. and if it costs more, it costs more. It can't cost more. It, we're we're spending three thousand dollars an acre per year. Yeah. In conventional farming. In conventional farming. Uh -huh. Please take take bags, take boxes. And so it's already an expensive process. And but do I understand it correctly then with? Um, GMO papayas. If it's GMO, it's going to spread its pollination out, and, no. and it's going to cross pollinate with anything and everything. But no, that's the common mythology. Okay, so it's Great. not going to be spread. It can. It can. It doesn't. It depends on the wind flow. No. No. <laughs> They've done the measurements. They've gone <laughs> out there, and it's not like corn. Okay, in th in theory, it's possible, okay. but we're not growing all male. We're not growing all female. We're Correct. growing hermaphrodite. Yeah. The, the the pollen's got to move that far. Uh -huh. it, you, they've measured it. It doesn't move more than this. You know, it it can, so it, I can't say that it won't, yeah. but it doesn't. In uh -huh. like in 99.99% okay. of the time, it doesn't move more than this far. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even in a, a stiff windstorm, it's not going to yeah, blow it up and out. And no. It. It, What's and the it, and even if it does, who gives a rip? Yeah. Because your po yeah. your your fruit isn't gonna turn. Yeah, just the next seed coming from. Yeah, it is. so but, uh -huh. you know, but so you if don't propagate seeds that way anyway. Uh huh. Why would you plant you you the whole point? I mean, nobody plants anything but F1 because of the productivity of them. Yeah. yeah. So this it's a common mythology to okay. think that that's even an important factor. But it's it's nice to be anti-GMO. No, it's just good to understand the per the, the reality of it. Thanks, Eric. No, I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. I know you use a big smile on your face. Have fun, bud. Thank you, Dad. To raise healthy pigs, visit the website in the description box below for more guidelines.